Donventari is the Hindu god of medicine and an avatar of Lord Vishnu. He appears in the Puranas as the god of Ayurveda. Though he is one of the Yakshas, who brought nectar of immortality from Samudramanthan. It is common practice in Hinduism for worshippers to pray to Donventari seeking his blessings for sound health for themselves and or others, especially on Dantaras or Donwantari Trayodashi. The Indian government has declared that Donwantari Trayodashi Kumara every year would be celebrated as National Ayurveda Day. Textual sources Ramayana Balakland and Bhagavata Purana state that Donventari emerged from the ocean of milk and appeared with the pot of Amrita elixir for immortality during the story of the Samudra or Sagara Mathana whilst the ocean was being churned by the Devas and Asuras, using the Mandara mountain and the serpent Vasuki. The pot of Amrita was snatched by the Asuras, and after this event another avatar, Mahini, appears and takes the nectar back from the Asuras. It is also believed that Donventari promulgated the practice of Ayurveda. Of special mention here is the treatise of Donventari Nayantu, which completely elucidates Donventari's medicinal plants. Iconography <inaudible> 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 According to the ancient Sanskrit work Vishnudaramatara, Donventari is a handsome individual and should usually be depicted with four hands, with one of them carrying Amrita, the ambrosia of the gods. Donventari is depicted as Vishnu with four hands, holding Shanka, Chakra, Jalauka leech, and a pot containing rejuvenating nectar called Amrita. He is often shown with a leech in his hand rather than the scriptures. Birthday celebration His birthday is celebrated by the practitioners of Ayurveda every year, on Dantaras, two days before Diwali, the Hindu festival of lights. It is also celebrated as National Ayurveda Day in India. The National Ayurveda Day celebrations started since 2016. Temples in India There are a few dedicated temples to Donventari in South India especially in Kerala and Tamil Nadu, where Ayurveda is highly practiced and patronized. The Donvatari temple in Thatuva in Kerala is a particularly famous temple, where Lord Donventari's idol is almost six feet tall and facing east. On the right hand the Lord holds Amrith and with the left hand the Lord holds Adda, Shanku and Chakra. The Ekadasa day celebration, which falls on the same day as the Guruvayur Ekadasa is of special significance. In Tamil Nadu, in the courtyard of Sri Ranganathaswami Temple Srirangam, there is a Donventari shrine where daily worship of the deity is performed. In front of this temple there is an engraved stone believed to be from the 12th century. According to the writings on the stone, Garuda Vahana Bhadar, a great Ayurvedic physician, established the statue inside the temple. A prasada or thirtham, a herbal decoction, is given to the visitors. The shrine is the oldest Donventari shrine in the state. Another Donventari shrine is found in the second precinct of Varadaraha Purumal Temple in Kanchipuram. Donventari temples in Kerala, Tamil Nadu, and Puducherry include Nelavai Donventari Temple, Wadakanchari, Thrissur, Kerala, Sri Danvantri Arogya Pedam, Walahapet, Velour District, Tamil Nadu. The Valakadu Sri Donwantheri Temple, Kalasakaramangalam Post, Vaikom, Katiyam, Kerala Anakal Donwantheri Temple, Taniyathakunu, Thrissur Sri Donwantheri Temple, Ramanathapuram, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu Sri Donwantheri Temple, Maruthorvadam, Chirthala, Kerala Sri Donwantheri Temple, Prayakara, Mavalikara, Alepi, Kerala Sri Donwantheri Temple Ilandhor, Pathanamthitta, Kerala Sri Donvantri Swami Sanidhi within the Sanjeevi Vinayakar Temple, Jipmer Campus Sri Alkalmana Donwantheri Temple is situated at Aranthad village, Angadapuram Panchayat, Parintalmana Taluk of Malappuram district. 
There is also Sri Marari Donvantri Morthi Shatram Temple in Kolam district Buthakulam Paravar. It belongs to a family called Thunvilla. It is owned and run by the family members itself. People offer prayer for their beloved ones and offer palpayasam to God. In Varanasi a Sanskrit Vishwadhyalaya, Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh state, one statue of Donvantari is present in the University Museum. Two statues are at the headquarters of the Central Council for Research in Ayurveda and Siddha at New Delhi. There is another statue inside the Ayurveda Maha Samelan office, Danawantari Bhawan at New Delhi and one statue of Donvantari is present at Mohil Ashram in Haridwar. One black stone statue facing south is also located in a personal property of a Brahmin family in Chauk area, Varanasi. It is said that the idol was found beneath the premises of that property when it was being constructed. When the Brahmin owner was unable to identify the god represented, he decided to set it adrift in the Ganges the following morning. However, the same night, the god appeared in his dream, introduced himself as Kashiraja Devotas Donventari, and commanded that the statue should be left where it was found. Hence, in his house he built this temple, which is largely unknown in that area. Of them all, this temple could be believed by the god's devotees to be the most divine and spiritual, because of the idol's serendipitous discovery, the reason for its rescue from oblivion, and its preservation. See also Ashvins Ayurveda <inaudible>